Peace Action Maine had a few questions, but I see so many people lined up with multiple questions. I'm just going to ask one, and that is, do you think that that reality winner should be freed? Yes. <laughs> just going to surprise you. <laughs> I've been giving such long answers, but when you mentioned how many people are lined up, uh, I was just, as I heard that, I was thinking, uh oh, I, I really got to shorten them here. But <laughs> Martha, that is, that is susceptible of a short answer. Yes. Well, Dan, uh, a couple other people, they had uh, questions about your thoughts on uh, Edward Snowden and Julian Assange and Chelsea Manning. So uh, I, I guess, could you share your thoughts with us a little bit about uh, whistleblowing and, uh, uh, you know, Edward Snowden and Chelsea Manning? And uh, I, I, guess, I guess just share with us some of your thoughts. And I think you've, is it correct that you've called on people within the government to continue whistleblowing so that we could uh, continue to get information uh, to the public? Well, of course, I've been doing that for, for half a century now. Uh, this is the 50th anniversary of the Pentagon Papers in June. And I would say all that time I've been saying, and I learned to say it in the following way after a while, don't do what I did. Don't wait till the bombs are falling or another thousands of people have died. If you have information that could avert a war or shorten a war or information that our constitution is being violated as Ed Snowden discovered, or many atrocities are being committed as Chelsea Manning revealed, think right now, don't wait as I did for years in effect without thinking about it, but I just didn't come to think in time of what I should do. Um, act like Catherine Gunn, who went in England, who the day that she realized that, as she put it, her government was using illegal means of surveillance to get us into an illegal war. She thought one day about it, and then she gave that to a newspaper with the, the chance actually of averting that war. It didn't, but it, uh, it could have and should have. So I'm saying act in a more timely way. And um, certainly, of course, Chelsea and Ed both acted much younger uh, than I was, I mean, with less experience, but they did the right thing. And uh, uh, the uh, we need it right now. The I was saying very much in December of this last year that after the election, that if anyone knew of plans for possibly provoking Iran into actions that would be called, would be said to justify our attacking Iran. And I am sure that such plans exist on paper and in on, and computers, not for definitely doing it, but to be prepared to provoke a war with Iran, they should consider putting that out in a way that might avert that war even whatever the cost to themselves personally. As uh, Ed is experiencing Snowden permanent exile, undoubtedly, Chelsea Manning, seven and a half years in prison. Uh, I got off without paying any significant price by a kind of miracle, but I was facing 115 years in prison. And uh, was that, was that, would that have been worth it? To avoid war with Iran, which would be at best, even if it didn't go nuclear, if it were on the ground, uh, worse than Iraq, Vietnam, Afghanistan, all put together. And that seemed like, and I think it was, a real possibility. And by the way, others seem to think that too. Uh, 10 secretaries of defense put out a letter, and this was unprecedented, uh, telling the military, reminding them of something I think almost none of them would have otherwise remembered, that their oath of office called for support and defending the Constitution, not the president, not secrecy, but the Constitution, and that they should not obey unconstitutional orders, which they didn't spell out. I think they were thinking of Iran, there's indications, but we have not gotten one page of evidence of that. And I say that believing with high confidence 
that such pages were there to be revealed and still are. And uh, that uh, the, the risk of, of war with Iran now seems enormously less now with Biden in. And yet this team of his, which people asked me about earlier, seem to be dragging their feet on uh, getting, uh, getting back into that agreement which, is, which could let it slip away since Iranian elections are coming up and Iran has its hawks, just as we do, who don't want that agreement. And to let that one get away because we won't lower the sanctions until they've done this or that would be inexcusable and unfortunately not highly improbable. That's a, that's a terrible thing to say. Uh, under Trump, of course, my worry was war uh, with, with Biden uh, not so much, but uh, it would be inexcusable. He, he campaigned on getting back to that agreement. And yet, as we see, it's not assured. So we need whistleblowers. Uh, we'll always need them. And we need a lot more than we've had. We need more moral courage than we've seen from our uh, any of our officials other than Ed Snowden and Chelsea Manning and some other people who have made important revelations without revealing themselves, uh, but not enough. And otherwise, moral courage in the sense of taking a risk in your own life to save other people's lives, the lives of, quote, others, not us, not we, them. To risk your life uh, for them turns out for civilians to be very rare. And we need more of it.